Hello students, in this problem we're going to parameterize the closed path around this triangle. So we're going to start here at A, we're going to work our way to B, then work our way up to C, and then work our way around back to A again. So it's going to be a closed loop, what's going to look like. So I drew in the arrows for you, and uh, if we're going from A to B to C to A, then first got to go from A to B, and the vector from A to B is minus two four zero so what I'm doing here is I'm subtracting B minus A so it's tail minus head then if we go from B to C that's from here to here then um, if I subtract tail minus head it will be uh, minus four and minus six in the set in the last two components and then when we go from C to A it'll be tail minus head so it's gonna be A minus C so it'll be two minus zero, zero minus zero, and zero minus six, so we get two zero minus six. So here are my direction vectors um, for the first path, A to B, my direction vector for the second path, B to C, and my direction vector for the last and the third and final path, that's from C to A. Next, I'm just going to write the equations for the lines. So this is the direction vector. Now since I'm starting at A, which is two zero zero, I'll just simply make that a vector, and so R1 of t, which is this path from A to B, will be the parameterized equation of a line, 2, 0, 0, plus t, and then this direction vector, minus 2, 4, 0. And then BC, the vector BC, will uh, be similarly constructed, and we'll start at 0, 4, 0, 0, 4, 0, and then plus t, and then this direction vector, 0, 4, sorry, 0, minus 4, 6. Then finally, from C to A, this will be R3, and since we're starting at 0, 0, 6, uh, we'll add T and then 2, 0, minus 6, which is the direction vector from C to A. Now I'm just going to take this a little bit further, and what I'm going to do is I'm just going to rewrite these equations that you see here, these vector equations, um, as a parametric. So in the first case, for R1 of T, that's this line here from A to B, uh, I'm simply just going to combine these two vectors. So in the first component, I have 2 plus minus 2t, um, 0 plus 4t, which is just 4t, and then 0 plus 0 is just 0. And then the x component is 2 minus 2t, the y component is 4t, and the z component is 0. Now notice, if I plug in t as 0, um, that takes me back to the point 2, 0, 0. So that's where we started, and that's the point A. And if I plug in 1, that should finish things off here at B. So if I plug in 1, um, if I make t1, I have 2 minus 2, which is 0. 4 times 1 is 4, and zero, z is 0, so that's still um, going to give me 0, 4, 0, and that is the point B. So at R is 0, we're at A, and at R is 1, we're at B. So um, we would say that t is between 0 and 1. Uh, we, could, we could do this for R2, and here's what it would look like. So I just combine these uh, vectors, and I have 0, 4 minus 4t, and 6t here. And then once again, um, I just say x is 0, y is 4 minus 4t, and z is 6t. And then you notice that um, if I plug in t is 0, I get the point B, because uh, when t is 0, I have 0, 4, uh, 0. And when I plug in 1, I get 0, and then 4 minus 4 is 0, and then 6 times 1 is 6, so that gets me to the point C. So R of 0 is B, R of 1 is C, and uh, we would then say that T is between 0 and 1. We do the same thing for R3, and it works the same way. Um, the parametric equations will be 2T, 0, 6 minus 6T, and then once again, if I plug uh, in T is 0, R3 of 0 is 0, 0, 6, which is the starting point C, and then R3 of 1, will be um, 2, 0, and 0, and that gets me to the final point A. And once again, we say that T is between 0, 1, 0, and now we've just taken a trip around this triangle from A to B to C back to A again. All right, good luck.